Hello students, welcome to Smart World, a school of complete education. Today we will be covering chapter 21 of English at the science fair. The science fair at Vidya Vardhini school was a number of stalls, never less than 50, entertainment booths and of course refreshments. There were two basic rules. One, everything should be handled by the students. And two, everything, even the entertainment booths and refreshment stalls, had to have a scientific base. Preparations for the fair began at least a couple of months in advance. The first step was brainstorming. The principal invited ideas for the event from the students, teachers and even parents. A host of ideas poured in. Luckily, many parents not only contributed ideas but also volunteered to help with the planning and implementation of the big event. So, a committee of parents and teachers was set up to look after all the work of fair. Some student representatives were also taken on the committee to give them a first-hand experience of managing big programs like this. The committee identified certain themes for the pair. They were plants, animals, properties of substances, forms of energy and energy resources, science in our everyday life, latest news from the world of the science. And food and nutrition. Considering the area of the school playground and the estimated turnout, it was decided to allow 56 stalls in the fair. The stalls were allotted to as many groups of children. Each group selected a topic idea from the chosen themes. The committee had to make sure that the topics were not repeated. The young scientists began their work in earnest. They began by collecting a lot of information about the topic using the science textbooks, the school library and also the internet. They shared and discussed this information in their groups. The next step was to decide the exact activity for this stall, whether they would build and display a model or give a demonstration or present their project through posters or simply exhibit a collection. The principal announced that the language, appearance and content of the presentations were all important. The language teachers helped the young stall holders to make their graphic and oral presentations more effective. Graphic Presentations Write to the point so that a visitor may read a chart or poster at a glance. Make use of the bullet points or bulleted lists. Use pictures and diagrams and label them. Use pictograms, graphs, pie charts, etc. to show numerical data. Plan all your posters charts properly before you start making them. Make a rough mini copy before you begin work on the main final poster or chart. Don't forget to check your spelling, sentences or other errors in the mini copy itself. Use different colors to highlight important features but use them judicially. If you have used any text pictures, diagrams, etc. from elsewhere, acknowledge the source. Oral presentations. The oral presentations or speeches should be short and to the point, 2 to 3 minutes at the most. Be confident when you make a presentation. They should be directly related to the model, demonstration or specimens exhibited in the stall. Rehearse the speech well. Be ready to answer relevant questions. Practice doing that with your friends. Make use of the visuals or graphics in the stall. Point to the relevant parts when you speak. Wear clean and tidy clothes but do not dress up to show off. Be polite. Be pleasant when you talk to the visitors. If you don't know the answer to a question, say so. But later on try to find the answer. Smile. At, at last, the big day arrived. The fair was inaugurated by the oldest science teacher, Mr. Gizer. It was Mr. Gizer who had come up with the idea of a science fair some 25 years ago. Initially, it was meant for just one class, but the idea was so popular that now the entire school participated in it. Mr. Gizer explained the importance of using the scientific method to find the answers to the questions relating to the physical world around us. He was happy to see the stalls, especially the ones that showed simple methods of identifying food adulterations. He appreciated the fact that in most of our stalls, visitors could also try out the various science experiments and models. He gave a special pat on the back to the clean brigade. The brigade members made rounds of the fair spreading the message of cleanliness, but they, that was not all. They had 
vowed to keep the school premises pick and span during the fair though they expected more than a thousand visitors and half as many stall holders they were a disciplined lot but what with so many activities and experiments going on it was bound to create a lot of litter they were well equipped with garbage cans scoops brooms and wipes let us also take a round of the fair to see some of the high the six standard children were handling the following stalls use of kinetic energy the stall displayed the model of a water mill use of potential in a plastic bottle motor boat sound everyone enjoyed making simple string telephones at their stall and then using them electrostatic energy this stall was so popular that additional help was needed to glow balloons as quickly as they were used up food adulteration even the parents learned something at this stall fun with magnets visitors queued up to see the different types of magnets at work maintaining machines some of the visitors made video clips of the presentation at this stall it consisted of different children playing the roles of different machines all crying out turn by turn hey we do need your attention we can serve you well if you can take care of us the fair was such a huge success that the school had to run it for 3 days instead of 2 the principal allowed this change in the time table only because it was a truly educational activity not just for the children but also for their family and the entire community no wonder everyone is already looking forward to the next year's fair the scientific method observe what is around you ask questions why why not how etc why does the fridge magnet stick to the fridge door but not to the kitchen platform maybe it has some special powers i will try to stick it to different things a wall a tile a potato a wooden table pots pans a plastic bottle a cup can you think of an explanation this is what is called hypothesis set up an experiment and try out hypothesis record your observations in detail this is your data draw conclusions do they match to your hypothesis if yes why if not why not write down your findings and share them with the others the magnet sticks to some surface but not to others it seems as if some metal objects are attracted to the magnet they are made of iron or steel magnet attracts iron but not all substances not even all metals pointers 1 answer the following questions a what two basic rules were followed in the science fair b how early did the preparations for the science fair begin c how was the committee formed d what themes did the committee identify e how did the students prepare for their stall presentations f what did mr gizer appreciate the most and g what did the clean brigade do to make charts to show the important points to remember while making a a graphic presentation b or an oral presentation 3 relate the themes of the fair to your science textbook by writing the relevant chapter numbers under each theme 4 find in your science textbook the topics of the stalls handled by the students of 6th a write the page number 5 What themes would you like to add to the themes given in this passage? Six. Imagine you are visiting the science fair. What other stalls apart from the ones mentioned here are you likely to find there? Try to list at least five more stalls. Seven. Using your imagination and information from other sources, describe any one stall in detail. Eight. Choose a question through your own observation. Try to follow the scientific method to find the answer to that question. Take the help of your teacher, parents to set up the experiment. Nine, visit a library, find and read the biography of your favorite scientist.